All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. And uh, I wanted to kind of uh, talk a little bit about everything that um, literally transpired yesterday. Uh, yesterday was crazy. It was, it was, it was crazy. But before we get to all that, first thing I have to say, um, thank you to everyone um, on my Facebook page, Vincent Flair, who posted up the pictures of the Macho Man and the memories of the Macho Man, the pictures of the uh, Macho Man DVD and Macho Man stories and everything yesterday on my Facebook. I mean, if you go to my Facebook right now, Vincent Flair, it's just flooded <clears throat> in Macho Man stuff. It's, it's flooded in Macho Man pictures, memories, memorabilia. I mean, it was literally insane. I mean, I had never seen anything like this. I had never experienced it. And I, I loved the fact that for years now, I've, I've sat here on YouTube and watched videos about how everyone says the YWC is dead, the YouTube wrestling community is dead, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you watched yesterday, the way that everyone banded together for the Macho Man, <laughs> it looked pretty damn strong to me. And I was just a small part of that. I was just uh, firing people up, you know, about the DVD, and people just loved it. And uh, it, was a, it was a special day uh, for me. I can't say that I got a lot of sleep yesterday. You know, I was so determined to get this DVD you know, I had talked about it with my friend The Wiz, you know, for uh, probably like literally every day for like two weeks straight before it happened. And uh, we were, you know, he was watching at his house and I was watching at my house and uh, we were talking on Facebook as this was going on. And the story goes, <clears throat> you know, Wiz was watching the part, you know, he put his message in. I would watch my part, I put my message in. And I was cool. I was cool watching the DVD. I was just locked in. You know, I, I was. I was literally, I was locked in for the whole doc. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, they started going about WrestleMania 4. And uh, you guys, I mean, I could tell you, but maybe you might not fully understand, like, how special WrestleMania 4 is to me and how many times I rented it and how many times I watched the Macho Man win the title and how proud I was and such a big fan of him in 1988, one of my favorite years in wrestling. He was one of my favorite champions in the history of the WWF. Um, so I'm sitting there and I feel some tears start to swell when they're talking about WrestleMania 4. I'm still cool because they're still talking about, you know, the Macho King stuff, you know, doing the interview with the Reds announcer, Marty Brenneman, Hall of Fame announcer for Cincinnati Reds. And, you know, I, I'm good. And then the DVD takes an unbelievable turn when they start talking about him and uh, Miss Elizabeth's divorce. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, they, they, uh, start talking about, you know, what a paranoid individual Savage is and, and how crushed, you know, he was when him and Miss Elizabeth, you know, got divorced and stuff and how hard that was on him. And so I'm kind of like, I still feel those tears starting to swell. And then they, they start going, uh, you know, when he goes to WCW, you know, he goes to WCW because there's a, a new generation movement in the WWE. And I remember this. And uh, it, it's kind of true that Macho really didn't fit as a commentator. He didn't. He didn't just. He didn't have the right voice. He just didn't have the right. Like if you watch WrestleMania nine and the King of the Ring ninety three, Jim Ross carried that out there with uh, Macho. You know, I mean, Jim Ross carried it. Uh, Macho was not right for commentary. Macho wanted to fight more, so he went to WCW. And they on the DVD they really didn't. Uh, <clears throat> go in depth with this WCW stuff. They just mentioned that him and Hogan didn't get along. But they didn't really go in depth with this WCW stuff like they could have. And I'm cool at this point. And then 
Oh man, it it literally it hit me like a shot when they started discussing uh, Miss Elizabeth's death, and they took you to her grave. They played the 911 calls that Lex Luger phoned in the day she died in May of um, was it 2003, and at this point, I was visibly. Uh, shaken up. I love Miss Elizabeth. I mean, I grew up with her. You know, saw her live, made sure I went to all the local house shows, you know, where I knew she was going to be. She was beautiful. Everybody loved Miss Elizabeth. And she was just a, a, a neat person, oozing charisma, didn't have to do much but stand out there and look pretty. And she was class. She was literally class. So when they showed her grave, literally I, I lost it, and I was literally sitting on my couch in full-fledged tears, bawling as a grown, you know, six foot, two hundred and five pound, uh, grown thirty-five year old man. Literally, I mean, seeing Miss Elizabeth's grave just brought it out. And then, uh, and then they they move forward in the DVD. To the part where uh, Macho Man, you know, crashes Jeep, and uh, you know him and his high school sweetheart had been reunited. I mean, he met this girl in 1971. They were together. They broke up, and somehow they got to back together. You know, towards Macho Man's later years. And uh, at this point, I, I, when they show the Jeep Wrangler stuff, crash into the tree. You know, I, I, I literally, I. I turned the DVD off uh, because I was I was visibly bothered by the ending of Miss Elizabeth's life, <clears throat> the ending of Macho Man's life, the way that they were dealt a raw deal in the end. They were they were they should have been dealt a better hand. And even now, thinking about uh, Miss Elizabeth, you know, being gone at 43 and seeing Elizabeth Hewlett on the grave, it gets to me a little bit. And uh, I will say one thing, and uh, the DVD, the doc on it was, it was, it was fabulous. It was a wonderful um, for me personally up to a point when, uh, you know, I saw that grave. I... I'm just the type of person that doesn't handle death very well. Um, death is something I just, I don't cope with very well. You know, it's, I don't know, you know, it, it, yesterday Macho Man Day and all the craziness on Facebook and going all over town and people blowing on my Twitter and Facebook was, and walking over to Best Buy, I mean, it was, it was fun, you know, doing all that. But then I got shook up and, uh, and then uh, the disconnect from the DVD, but I, I'm not, I mean I'm not going to sit here and say that it was bad because it was really really worth watching. For me, I'm going to watch it one time. You know, I just don't want. I don't. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to think about the sad stuff with Macho and Elizabeth. I want to think about WrestleMania Seven. You know, I want to think about uh, SummerSlam '91. I don't want to think about the sad stuff. And literally, I was I was bothered. I was sleeping away last night before I had to go to work, and I swear to God, you're gonna think I'm making this shit up, whatever. Literally, I woke up because I thought I saw a female shadow of Miss Elizabeth walking by in my hall. I kid you not that everything came full circle. And I, I guess I thought about this DVD so much yesterday. That literally, I saw a female shadow of Elizabeth walking in my hall last night, and it scared the shit out of me. I mean, th I mean, it was borderline, it was borderline crazy. Obviously, it wasn't a, a shadow. It wasn't Miss Elizabeth's shadow. It was my damn cat shadow, Felix. You know, who's laying on the floor watching this. But you know, I literally, I mean, this shit played on my mind. Um. I mean, we'll, we'll finish this, and, and I'll say, if you are a professional wrestling fan, you know, go, go buy this DVD. Um, you will not 
uh, regret it. But be forewarned, if you go buy this, and you were a fan of the Macho Man back in the day, you're going to feel it in your heart. You, you literally are, are going to feel uh, some very strong emotions. If you love the Macho Man and you love Elizabeth and they were heroes to you when you were a kid, you're going to feel it. I will warn you on that. This is probably not a DVD that you want to watch with your children. Maybe the first half hour, 45 minutes, watch, watch with your children. Or if you're married and you have a sensitive wife, maybe you show her the first 35 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever, <clears throat> and then you put another show on. Because it's a heart wrencher. It, it's, it's a gut wrencher. It's tremendously well done. By far the best WWE DVD that they've come out with in 2014 and probably in 10 years. I mean, it was awesome. But for me personally, I have to disconnect from it. I have to I have to put it on the shelf, just be done with it. I don't handle sad stuff uh, very well at all. I'm not the kind of person who uh, watches uh, zombie movies and you know Freddy Krueger and and uh, Jason. I don't watch that stuff. I don't watch sad stuff or or uh, anything that's really scary or violent. I, I tend to be the kind of person that likes to focus on uh, happy and peaceful and um, they both had a violent ending to their lives and I can't imagine the um, heartache that their family has to be in to this day for the way that Elizabeth and Macho Man were both dealt a, a raw deal you know Elizabeth I mean oh my god man 43 and literally I mean she had so much life ahead of her and she was such a special person and Miss Elizabeth was you know, she was so beautiful I mean, she was, literally, she was the kind of girl that, if she was your girlfriend, you would, you would marry her. I mean, Elizabeth was the kind of girl that you bring home to mom. I mean, this was literally the perfect uh, woman. And for her to get dealt that hand, I knew about it. I've known that Elizabeth is gone for 11 years. And literally, until you see it, until you hear it, you could read it. You ain't heard nothing yet. You can read it on the internet. You know, that's that's one thing. But when the music is going and you're locked in on a DVD, it's a whole different ballgame. It literally it is. Anyways, I will end this video and say it's a must-have for any pro wrestling collectors. And I will end this video and say thank you uh, for everyone yesterday for just flooding you know, all my social medias, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, I mean, these videos are doing phenomenal. You know, people literally care. I mean, that's, that's, that's hard to get, is for people to care about what you're saying on YouTube. It is not a given. There is a million YouTube channels out there, and a lot of YouTubers who just can't get people to care about what they're saying and literally yesterday I had people messaging me on my Facebook all day when's the video coming when's the video coming when's the video coming when's the video coming people literally cared yesterday about what I was gonna say and how I was gonna act and, and my thoughts on this DVD people really cared and showed me just a ton of love yesterday and uh, I am so grateful to have this YouTube channel. I am so grateful to have like 550 friends or something on Facebook. I am so grateful to have my 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 network behind me, my WWE vs. TNA, WrestlingDVDNews.com, you know, The Click. You know, they're all behind me, you know, and tons of people, old school wrestling fans, people who like DVD reviews. They're here, and they're with me, and the YWC came together yesterday after everything. Now, it was just a small part of it, but if you're wondering if YWC is a pretty cool place to be, you're damn right it's a pretty cool place to be, because yesterday it showed why it can be such a cool place to be. That was literally perfect.
yesterday. It was a, it was a perfect day. It was a hell of a lot of hard work. You know, literally, I mean, I cost myself some sleep. I didn't eat much. But it, it was worth it to be involved in such a, a cool uh, movement, a groundbreaking thing. And, you know, a cynical person will say, you know, hey, you, you, you only did 400 views. It wasn't so much about that. You know, it was more about, like, love. And you guys loved me. And I love you right back. And uh, we're we're clicking, man. We're clicking on all cylinders. And yesterday, like, showed me literally that my future is so bright right here in the YWC. Literally, it's it's bright, man. I mean, there is big things ahead for this channel. You know, I mean, it, your connection to me is awesome. It really is. I mean, I I mean. Back in the day when I had my big 5,000 subscriber account, it wasn't like this. There wasn't that connection. But that connection is, it is here. And I'd say the Gemini A to Day channel is doing pretty damn strong. And you guys are to thank Gemini. And I will check with you guys later. Peace out.